Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we have some more circuit builds. I know we've been going over circuit builds a lot, but uh, these were all submitted together by the same person, uh, Saltamontes, I believe. And uh, they're really, really nice builds uh, after looking through them here. So we have a green circuit build up top here. Uh, first, all of these are beacon moduled, and they all output a full blue belt, which is... Uh, Pretty impressive especially for once you get down to uh, blue circuits and stuff as well but uh, we'll start here at the greens overall pretty straightforward design some nice use of undergrounds and uh, also I really like the fact that he uses uh, fast inserters as well as stack inserters we've mentioned that previously that you kind of need to do that for this type of speed and uh, that, I mean, this this one's pretty straightforward. Do you, what, what comments do you have for this, Siri? Well, the green circuits will halt a bit. So you might want to back off one of the speed beacons for them. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that will work out perfectly or not. So I'll just assume he did the math right here. Yeah. And other than that, yeah, it's it's really great. Getting a full, fully saturated blue belt of anything is quite difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, one note is these are unfortunately not tileable, uh, like left to right. You could tile them, um, like share the beacons top and bottom though, which is really nice. Kind of saves you some beacons and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can't tile it like from left to right or anything. Well, that obviously doesn't make sense to tile it left to right because the it comes in on the left and out on the right. So well, yeah, that's why you can't tile it though. So. <laughs> uh, just something to mention because I know tileability is important to some people, but when you get a full blue belt out, it's pretty good anyway. Uh, and then moving down to reds, uh, there's a nice trick here which I'll let Zuri cover um, at the beginning. It kind of threw me off at first, but uh, this guy's also outputting a full blue belt of reds and using uh, pretty much fully utilizing the ability to belt weave um, or belt braid all the different types of belts uh, between each other. Yeah, if you go up to the top one, you'll notice the input belts heavily favor one side of the belt over the other. Like copper is the bottom half and iron's the top half. But with this kind of input design, it inherently unloads from the belt in a lane balanced manner, which is a, a design we've covered before mm -hmm. for splitting belts. I believe you covered it in the 101 series. Yeah, I think we may have touched on it there. Uh, and maybe a workshop as well. But, but yeah, so this is utilizing, uh, you know, merging onto the sides of undergrounds here uh, for both plastic and green circuits. And then, like I said, full utilization of all the belt weaving to keep it extremely compact, all of it in a line. Um, this is actually really really compact um even for a beacon module build to get a full out uh, blue belt of reds yes this uh fully beaconed and fully compressed output blue belt is impressive uh, we've covered my my build before that does the same thing and it was about six times as big as this yeah now to be fair yours did not use beacons and which obviously make a pretty big difference but correct um yeah, overall, I, I really, really, we both really like this build. Very compact, well done, uh, you know, balanced and fed. And this one actually is like pretty much perfectly um, mapped out almost. That uh, These end ones do stall once in a while, but other than that, there doesn't seem to really be any stalling in this build at all. And yes, then, really impressive build. Now then our lights. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this was really nice. This came with the blueprint, the lights. The undergrounds didn't, and we'll explain why we did this, but the lights came with the blueprint, which is really nice to just show where the inputs go. Like, these are all greens, those are reds, and then sulfuric acid, which we forgot one, apparently. How is this still running? Did you put it? Probably it probably cross-connects somewhere. It must. I'm going to add one just in case. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so this is the blue build, which, even more impressive, outputs a f almost a full blue belt, of blues it actually is a full blue belt um it takes a little while to warm up uh to you know fully saturate it but this is pretty insane 2400 blue circuits a minute uh that's because that's a full blue belt 
Yep, a full blue belt calibrated output. Again, pretty sweet. It does eat about 14.3 green belts or uh, blue belts of green circuits, which is impressive. Yeah. He has them plugged into 14 inputs or uh, 16, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 16. Um, and then we, we this these extra undergrounds like sticking out past lights are not in the build. This actually um, obviously include the original build. This one does not include that, but we did that because um, for some reason the creative matter sources don't really feed very well directly into undergrounds, and there were some, so we had to underground everything and then add the extra stretch of belt um, instead of getting rid of the lights to feed these correctly because we were noticing problems. So. Yeah, that's just a test rig problem. I'm pretty sure if you build this, you'd probably want to rip up the lights. Yeah, once you get your inputs figured out and stuff, definitely. But uh, yeah, again, very impressive. Nice use of belt weaving and merging. And uh, again, the stack inserter and fast inserter on here is very important to be able to keep up with this. And uh, another thing I'm noticing is he's actually sharing the red belt for the output of, of uh, or the red circuit belt for the output of blue circuits and then doing the neat trick of uh, side loading onto an underground to separate them. Yeah, I call that the hood trick. <laughs> Appropriate name. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Really, really nice builds. All three of these uh, blueprints will be in the description. And I believe that pretty much covers it. Do you have anything else to add for these? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, then, uh, then there you go. Awesome builds. Check them out if you're interested. Uh, definitely uh, recommend. And any thoughts you have, leave down below. But until next time, we will catch you later.